Yesterday was a key milestone in Zen's history, the official opening of our new office in the city centre of Leeds. We opened the office to attract new talent into the company and help propel Zen to become a true challenger brand alongside the biggest names in our industry. I did a short opening speech, looking back at the various buildings we've occupied over the years and finished by cutting our celebratory cake. Here's my speech. Well, a very warm welcome to our super trendy city centre Leeds office. <laughs> and this marks a, a momentous day in the history of Zen, which goes back 24 years. So let's have a look back 24 years. This is where it all started. The Rochdale Enterprise Generation Centre on Dane Street, it's just opposite Asda in the centre of Rochdale. So we started off um, in a little office, lying about, oh yeah, it, just behind this wall, no windows, tiny it was, but that's where we all started. And then as we expanded within the Generation Centre, we took on more offices. I think we ended up with five offices and three of the industrial units, which you can't see on this photo, but we're sort of further down this way um, that we fitted out as offices as well. And so that was the heady days of the internet when actually the fax machine was much more widely used than the internet. You know, the internet was a technical novelty niche for computer geeks really back when we started. Now, by complete coincidence, the office next to mine in the Generation Centre uh, was occupied by an architect. And I got chatting to this guy, David, he was called. I said, you know, you know, I've got no windows. It gets really hot in the summer. And what we really need as a high-tech business is we need something that looks high-tech. Um, and to be honest, this is great, but it's a little bit drab. So what do you think? Could you design us a high-tech looking building? So him and his, uh, his partner did just that. Uh, we found what was a rubbish dump um, in Rochdale. And I remember standing on this rubbish, rubbish dump <laughs> next to Gordon Riggs Garden Centre and thinking, this is the place for our building. <laughs> 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 this is the place. <laughs> OK, we need to clear the rubbish away. Uh, so we bought the piece of land, little triangle of land from Rochdale Council, uh, and we built this. So it took us four years to build, but we moved in in 2001. We had about 30 staff when we moved in. And the building itself, big enough for about 65. Um, so that was great. And I really thought, this is it. We've made it as a business because I had a corner office with windows on both sides. I was like, I can see the hills, I can see outside. Uh, brilliant. And we soon filled up this building and by about 2002, 2003, something like that. So we, we rented the sixth floor of Telegraph House in Rochdale. It doesn't exist anymore. It's been knocked down, but we were up there. And, and we filled that up as well. And so then we took some more space in Globe House, and which was just down the road from our building on Mossbridge Road. And we, we expanded into there as well, taking multiple offices. And we got to probably about 250-ish people across those three sites. And then something very fortuitous happened, which was that Thomas Cook decided to buy my travel. And they did that in 2007. And uh, whilst that was not the best of news for the people that worked at my travel, it was great news for us because it meant that we could get the opportunity to buy uh, our current H HQ on Sandbrook Park. So we bought that building in 2008. Um, it was a really big stretch. It cost us 20 million pounds to buy that building. Most of it was bought by NatWest, actually. Uh, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit by us. And we've been paying back our mortgage dutifully since we moved in 
11 years ago. And it, it's been a great building. So we, we moved in. Sandbrook Park's got capacity for over a thousand people. And, and when we moved in with about 250, we, we had whole floors that were completely empty, costing us a fortune. But it's turned out to be a great building to get everyone under one roof. Um, and then the space that we haven't needed, we've managed to let out to our tenants. And we ended up in the great situation that the rental income from our tenants covered not just the interest on the loan, but also the repayments uh, on the building. So a brilliant position for us to be in. And also, it, it really upped our status as a provider. So after moving in, we won many bigger contracts that we probably wouldn't have won despite being the same group of people in our smaller buildings previously. So a really good stroke of luck for us. I mean, the building itself, I'm sure most of you know, it was built by the co-op in the mid nineties, uh, opened by Tony Blair, actually. Um, and, um, and the co-op did a fantastic job of building that. So we, we're, we're around about today. We, we've got around about 520 uh, people within Zen. So, but we decided Let's not wait around, let's open this trendy new office in Leeds. And here it is, we're here. Um, the question is, why did we do it? Why Leeds? And the answer, very simple, is that Leeds has got talent. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, so there are many, many talented people in and around the Leeds area that we want as part of Zen. Um, that are quite happy to work in the city centre of Leeds, but Rochdale is just a little bit too far of a commute um, to get to. So with our ambitions, we thought we need to tap into that talent base um, and open this office. So that was the prime driver behind opening this office. And why do we need so much extra talent? It's because we're at the beginning of a new journey that's just started. Uh, in our history as a business. And that journey is best described by moving us from being what we've been throughout our history and, and more or less up to this day, a lesser known boutique or niche provider of services. And where we want to go in the future is we want to become a true challenger brand. So across all the markets that we operate, we want to be known alongside the biggest names in our industry. Uh, and we've absolutely got the opportunity to do that in retail, in business, and in wholesale. I'm totally up for going for it because I think that we can, we can stick to, you know, stick into, absolutely stick into the values that have made Zen what it is but saying, let's really go for it and show these biggest players that there's a different way to do business, but that in the long term is gonna deliver massive success. So I'm massively keen on going for it. And this Leeds office is uh, gonna be a critical part in getting the talent to fuel that growth. So very exciting times ahead. And I think that's, uh, that's, that's about me done really. So it's cake time. <laughs> And I say, I, I just, I suppose, finished by saying thank you everyone here today for coming along to our grand opening today. Um, and an even bigger thank you for all your contributions that have got the business to where we are today. So I can stand up here on this little box um, and talk about such a fantastic future ahead of us. So thank you very much.